Good evening everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and we've got our own special little dinky doodle yeah. in the kitchen, Dawn yeah. Butler. She's back here again. God, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> but after the last live, it was so fantastic and you asked so many questions that I said to Dawn, please come back Dawn and let's just do some basics. Let's do some basics, cover some boards, show you how to clean, do clean the cleaning station, all the questions that you ask. So in the kitchen today, we've got Laura and Maria. Hi, Hi. Laura and Maria. Hi. And what they're going to do is, we're going to shout out hellos to everybody and please make sure you keep giving those thumbs up because it's very important. It's massive, big encouragement. These tutors... <laughs> Makes me feel I'm not on my own. <laughs> Locked in this kitchen. Yeah. Um, tutors come from far and wide and you come from... Nottingham. Nottingham. I know. It's far and wide. They travel all over the country and it's all the preparation before they get there. It's all the dealing with us. It's all the preparation. There's a lot to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the preparation. It's making sure we've got stock in. She's got to get her boards ready or cakes ready, whatever the demo is. And, you know, it's a big thing. And then not only that, travel home because Dawn doesn't stay the night. She insists on traveling home. Only because my diary is so crazy busy. Thank you for putting my label back in. <laughs> I'm so crazy busy that I can't even, I haven't even got time to sleep. So literally, I am dashing straight back out after this. I know. Walk. And I do feel sorry because I clean up the kitchen and go to bed and I know she's traveling home for the night. But never mind. So, anyhow, the good thing is she does have a lovely, handsome son in the kitchen as well. <laughs> Can you hear him? Come on, pop Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we'll give, it, give him a show again. You've already seen him once, but we may as well flash him off because I can't believe how handsome he is. Okay. <laughs> Not only that, this little Look dinky that. one produced this. Look at this. Hey, what's going on? He's bigger than me and I'm no. tall. Only 14. Bless 14. him. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, he is Dawn's helper. So he's here and loads of confidence. So we love him already, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can go now, can you? You're all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow, get those thumbs up for him. He's a bit of a hottie. So you've got any nice 14 year old girls. Yeah, PM around. me. PM me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's a proper hottie. So, anyhow, I'm going to go back round here. Keep my mouth shut if I can. Which is not possible. Not able to do. Not possible. Um, and as I say, we're going to let Dawn just flow with this live. Get everything out because the problem is sometimes when you're asking questions we forget things and we forget to do things and we want to try and cover as many things as we can tonight yes and okay? i promise you guys do do ask your questions what i promise to do is whilst i'm dashing straight off here afterwards i will hook up first thing in the morning and then i'll go through all your questions for you and make sure that you get some answers but hopefully we should cover everything but we'll see saves me a job <laughs> <laughs> or maria a job yes <laughs> Right, let's get on with it. Okay, Good. right. Super. Um, so airbrushing, that's where we're at. I know that, oh, thank you. Um, I know that you all love um, airbrushing and sometimes you're a little bit frightened of it. And I thought rather than doing one cake project, what we'd actually do is do loads and loads of different ways that you can airbrush up your boards. Now, a cake board is a pretty boring thing, but it could actually make or break the cake and make it look really wow. And of course, any of these skills that we're doing today are also transferable to the actual cake themselves. So, pretty win-win, really. Whilst we're here also, of course, I should be cleaning my airbrushes up, which I would be doing usually off camera. So we thought we'd do that on camera so that you can see just how easy they are to clean, maintain, and take apart. And of course then save that handy video, we'll get Carol to put it on the page and put it somewhere a little separate so that you can refer back to it at any point that you need help. But of course, you know guys, I'm here 23 and a half hours a day, I'm available. <laughs> so to give us a shout. That's a good idea. So we're going to, when you come to do that, we'll get Maria to film that and make that as a separate little video. Amy. And then it's always there. Okay. Yes, Don't forget, if you haven't yet got an airbrush and are looking for an airbrush, um, for a limited time only, I haven't got any of these left. This is how special these are. Um, but Carol still has the free little seven color sets. So you are getting in there your red, yellow, blue, your black, your white, and you've got a pearl and a gold. Yeah, they're great. Mm. People have looked Really, them. really great. Um, I just need some more. They won't have gone forever. Um, but Carol is the only one that has those in stock at the moment. And just let me tell you, they're fractal colours. They're certified halal. They're suitable for vegetarians, vegans. Yeah, they are. They're absolutely brilliant. But you'll see how they are in practice if you haven't already seen. And don't forget to refer back to the 30th of July demo from last year because it really was quite a comprehensive 
airbrushing demo where we did loads and loads of cool stuff. So I think that really, as a standalone demo, is worth kind of pinning it and knowing where it is to look at. We'll put those to one side, not in my bag. <laughs> I haven't got any of those. Um, okay then, so an airbrush. Doesn't matter which airbrush you've got. Of course, I'd love it if you have one of mine. Um, but don't forget there are only two kind of airbrushes in the world. Forget the brand. We're looking at single action. And we're looking at dual action. So remember what that means. A single action airbrush requires only one action to make it work. Therefore, Carol, are you paying attention? What does a dual action airbrush require? Two actions to make. She had to wait for my fingers to go up. She had to wait for my fingers to go up. I don't always get it right away. Unless it's late in the evening. What else can we say? What else can we say? So this one for cakes is a single action airbrush. That's what I would recommend, basically. It's like driving an automatic car instead of a manual. So a little bit easier to get your hands on. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing some boards. And the first board that we're going to do is a water technique. And the reason that I'm starting so fancy is because I want time for it to dry. So if I start it now, hopefully by the end of the demo, you should be able to see what it looks like. But if not, I know that Maria will photograph it for you and then put it up just to see how it turned out. Um, all I've done is just take um, a cake card rather than a drum board because they're cheaper, basically. <laughs> Maria, come and walk around the back. We don't mind you. I think that you're here. Yeah. Walk around the back. She likes to see you start. Bless her. You're going to be so easy to do. Yeah, we had Amy in last week who was so tall and she's trying to cry, climb over Amy's <laughs> shoulders. Impossible. No. You're going to, you're going to be able to see around me. It's fine. You probably go straight over her head, Maria. <laughs> to be fair, people think that the Dinky Doodle is because it's small and you draw with it. Yeah. It's my nickname. I know. It's what I've been called from when I was an echo baby. Yeah. And it's a good job I didn't get to be as big as okay. Daniel. <laughs> because then I would have a stupid baby. Is the other one as tall? Matthew, no. No, is well, he Matthew's short? only 12, but he's just shorter than me, isn't he? Yeah. He's getting there. Mind you, you're at 12 though, they're at the age of just shooting up, aren't they? they he's the about, expert. yeah, he's about kind of ready to start growing, I think. I mean, Paul's six foot. Ah, right. But you're almost as big as, aren't you? What do you oh, have? Oh, 10 inch heels on your wedding day then? Well, for, <laughs> When, when you're lying down, you're the same height. Yes, exactly. <laughs> is, that, is it after nine oh, yet, yeah, Laura? Oh, we're after nine. Yeah. After, nine. <laughs> after nine, you can tell us all. Yes. <laughs> like, you know, what I want to know. I was going to embarrass Daniel, actually. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> and, say, and say that when Daniel wears heels, he's a lot taller. <laughs> he's putting his head in his hands now. He was an ugly sister at the pantomime in Scouts. Oh, did you? And he was not so ugly, if I'm honest with you. I was going to say, I don't think you could make him ugly. He's so no. handsome. Oh, bloody. Don't yeah. give me a guess. Oh, oh I'm blushing now. Really is awesome. blushing. Bless. And I'm sure all our ladies agree as well, don't you? I know. Yeah. Oh. Bless. You're going to um, have to bring him every time now. It won't be the same. Well, I know. Well, he's come twice You're now. You've got to so yourself a little large show soon, won't <laughs> you? If you get Daniel airbrushing, we can change it well, to the can. new little large, can't can. we? It can. He might well do some wood grain later. No. If you can remember. <laughs> now he's panicking. Yeah, no pressure. No. no Listen, Daniel good. working with me started because he was raising money for his jamboree. So he was doing little bits and pieces of work. And actually, whilst we're at it, I need to say massive public thanks to Sugar and Crumbs. Because Sugar and Crumbs gave us a huge donation of lots and lots of fab ice in, which we were able to make fudge with, and do all sorts of things with, and put in some of your goodie bags. So, Daniel, what'd you say? Thank you so much for all your support. <laughs> thank you. So, yeah, so we needed wait, to wait, say wait, a bit wait. of a thank you. But now Daniel's basically just loves travelling the, traveling the world. Yeah, that's why, isn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, it's because he knows he gets places. That's what it is. Okay, so I've had some red in my airbrush. It wasn't that the one that I was using. Today. It's the best one, yeah. Look at me with my spoiltness of three airbrushes. So I've had some red in it, but we're fine. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of water in there. And just make sure that we've not got any in. Now this is a cleaning station, dead, dead handy. If you haven't got a cleaning station, you could get a coffee cup, you could get a fresh soup pot, um, and just put the lid on it, make a hole in it and pop it in there. But what I love about these is that basically all of my rubbish We'll go in here and then I can tip that out, put it in the dishwasher. Simple as that. Um, and then get rid. Yeah, done. So what you do, right, because I'm... All I'm doing is emptying. I obviously didn't pay attention last time because I really thought it was far more technical. Do you ever pay attention? <laughs> no. 
Um, too many questions to answer. I know, I know. You were busy, busy, busy. Oh, I was busy. Busy, busy, busy. busy. <laughs> the fact that the website crashed and everything exploded. Oh, I know. <laughs> Maria, I'm just going to move these to this side because I won't then get in your way. How's about that? Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm going with a sky blue for water. Fractal do three different blues. Yep. They do a sky, a royal, and an indigo. indigo. Um, my personal opinion when I took them on was, why do I need so many blues? But oh my goodness, I need so many blues. I need them all. They're absolutely perfect for underwater ombras. That's so, good to know. I'm yeah, down. not just kind of saying it, they really do need them, they're lovely. Well, I have to say, I am so pleased about this quieter demo, okay? Because I have my airbrush, as you know. And the yes. first time it got used was when Carol Haycox was in the kitchen a few okay. weeks back. And um, she used my airbrush, brand new. And I felt ashamed that I actually hadn't used it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when Carol was in the kitchen from FMM Cutters, she was actually in here with us. Yeah. The amount of people who've said they've got their airbrush and they're scared of using it. Yeah. Which is the whole reason I'm glad it you're is. here tonight. Because it, it was great that cake you did the other week, but it's nice just to do basics. Just a bit of airbrushing. Just a bit, a bit of airbrushing. airbrushing. Pressure, all yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, that's and that's it. what we need to know. Okay, so plain old water. Ideally, if you've got a dropper, that'd be good. I don't know what this is going to come out like, but I just want to splash some water on the board. So hopefully you can kind of get that and you can see it. Do I need to move it a bit forward no, for the camera? Over. Okay. Okie dokie. So with checking, what I'm doing with this piece of kitchen paper, you see how I've got kitchen paper on the work surface. I'm just using it to check my colours. Now, ordinarily, I would say to people that you're going to point down when you airbrush, and we'll okay. come on to that in a bit, okay? That you're going to point down. But we're not going to do that. Because if I did that, I'd blow the water everywhere. What I'm actually going to do is go horizontally and from a distance. From a distance. Can you see how it starts to take on the water? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is clever, darling. How is that? I know, we're only on the first board. It goes downhill from here on in. There's nothing else that's exciting. From here on in, we're done. I've peaked. I'm going home. How cool is that? It's clever, isn't it? Yeah. If you had a drying, you know, like them drying boxes, yeah. dehydration boxes. Yeah. If you had one of those, pop it in there, it'd dry in no time. Right. Other than that, just leave it overnight. And what will that do? Leave like a splash on it, like a water What water effect. is, water will eat the icing and it dips in and makes a dint. Yeah. But because at the moment it's standing proud, yeah. we've actually airbrushed the bubble of yeah. water, we've only created a shadow on the front half of all of that water. She's nodding here like she's completely engrossed. I'm nodding. <laughs> We so are put, I know. So you put colour only on the front side of the water strip. And then when it settles, there's more colour on the front side than there is anywhere else. So it, it gives the impression it's still 3D and it's not. Wow. Basically. I can't wait. But can you see why it's got to be horizontal? If I went down, what am I going to do? I'm going to splash that water everywhere, yeah. which might be a cool effect, but it's not what we're after on no. this occasion. Okay? Lots of likes for that. Yeah. Very impressed. I'm well impressed. Lots of likes. We want lots of love oh, arts. Yes. You're on <laughs> so the Give us only, an injury. Love arts. The only thing is now is I've got to be careful to lift it, basically. Yeah. So you just, you, you right could be all right. Down. You can just literally pick it up. That's no bother. But you just don't want to be tipping it about. So that can go there. And remind me somebody to look at it at the end and we'll see yeah. where it's at. We will. Doesn't work on the side of a cake, clearly. Yeah. But if you wanted to do it on the side of a cake, then you'd do some um, sugar paste or put a little CMC in to make it a bit firmer. Do some panels. So do some panels, airbrush them, let them go hard and then put them up against the side of a cake. Or cupcake toppers. You can yeah. do it on some cupcake toppers. Yeah. Works on edible icing sheets as well. Oh, anything yeah, anything that will actually kind of pit that surface a little bit. Splashes of water, and of course it's different every time. You'll start to know whether you want a dropper and a big splash or you like to flick it. Different, different ways, different methods, and you'll get a different approach. You could do an ombre with that as well. You could go turquoise and then to blue and whatever mm, that else. That would be nice. Why did yeah. you not show us that then? Because, <laughs> because I just couldn't have you too excited in one go. That's for the next live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll get ourselves another book. 
would you like a number now? Yes. We'll do I'm a number now, shall we? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Because you've told them now. You told me I'm paying attention. I know. Yeah. I want to start my ombre with a turquoise, so I'm going to get rid of this blue. It's not going to take much to get rid of it. I could be tipping it back in the bottle. Guys, you guys at home, don't waste your colours. You knew that you'd got an airbrush that was nice and clean. If I'd got a white in there or a pearl and I'd put other colours through it before and I didn't quite know what was in it, get rid. Or if I've mixed yellow and brown together, don't put it back in the brown and you certainly can't put it back in the yellow. So get rid. I'm not cleaning my airbrush, just emptying it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Can you see, look, I've just, my colour is an absolute <laughs> stay. I do magazine tutorials and then they want the shots of all the products <laughs> They're all that I've used. So I have to keep going to, the, to my warehouse, aka my garage, and um, getting more colours out. So I'm just putting some turquoise in, you're not going to need a lot. And again, I'm using this paper as my sort of workings out. There's my turquoise look oh, straight wow. away. That's a lovely colour, isn't it's it? It's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favourites. Oh, yeah. One yeah. of my faves. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So, ombres. Loads of people like to do an ombre, um, and they end up with a cake that's all one colour, basically, yeah. because they go too far. Right. And watch what happens with this. So. What I'm going to do here is point downwards because I'm pointing at my board. Um, in fact, hmm, should I do it facing you so it's on the side like it's on the side of the cake? Because it's dead handy to see this. You tell me which is the best angle. Is that a good angle? Well, it is for Maria. Well, what about us? Oh, let's let's just a camera. Out the, way. Yeah, so the, audience will, the audience will not mind as long as they can get the best angle. Do you want me to drop this plug down? Uh, yeah, if you can. Should we just set down yeah, and up? Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. The only reason being is that you're going to do this on the side of a cake ordinarily and probably not the board. Yeah. 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 So I want you to see what goes wrong with an ombre. So what so we what should you do, be what doing... What are you going to do? Do it wrong first and then do it right? I'll, I'll correct it. You're all right. <laughs> so people airbrush horizontally. Can you see what I mean? Yeah? So they're airbrushing like this. Can you see yeah. the angle that the cup's pointing at? It's backwards, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. If I now tilt my airbrush and straighten the cup out, where am I now pointing? Uh, Down, okay? Yeah. So if I airbrush this way, I want you to watch what happens to my overspray. Now when I'm saying overspray, what I'm meaning is the channel of spray goes like that, yeah? yeah? And if I'm a long way away from the cake, it's as wide as possible. If I'm close to the cake, the cone hasn't got a chance, has it, to go outwards, no. so it stays quite narrow. So if I'm here spraying a nice wide spray for an ombre, then basically my problem is, is that my overspray is all the way up there and all the way down there. Can you now see all of a sudden I could probably reach the top of my fingertips? So I'm not getting an ombre, am I? And blue is notorious for going a long way. So let me pick up this board again. Why is blue notorious for going a long way? What's wrong with red? I don't know, yeah. but blue goes everywhere. everywhere. Right. But it's absolutely everywhere. Right, and it's any, pink, we're, any having, we're only having pink umbras or something. Yeah. <laughs> and it's any brand of blue. Sure. It's got nothing to do right. with the brand. Not weird, but... So I need to point down. Okay? So I'm going to point down. Can you see how Can I'm, you get that, Laura? I'm spraying the kitchen paper? But look how it's already hitting the board already. Mm -hmm. But I'm touching the kitchen paper. Can you see how it's going? So if I were to go horizontally, like so, you won't necessarily be able to see there. If I tilt that ever so slightly backwards, can you see that we're already getting speckles up to about here? Yeah. Yeah? Okay? So it goes a long, long way. And you wait till I stick the blue in and see what happens. So, I'm always, always pointing down and I work my way up to where I want to finish. Yeah. Okay? I'm then going to just get the cleaning station and empty out. I don't need to empty out if I'm honest with you. I could just put the blue in. Yeah. But I'll then have a blend of colours until I then put blue in. It'll also change. You need yeah. to bear that in mind. 
If you want the blend, no problem, but you need a big cake to get It doesn't to look colours. like you put a lot of liquid in there, though. No. No, I don't know whether you can see. I mean, I've got the bigger cup on. Yeah. I've got the pink cup, so yeah. it's the 9cc, see on there? not the 7cc. Yeah, because you're not filling that cup up. God, no. See, I would have filled that up. No. What would you no. have done? No. Yeah. I would have, I would because I always thought, why have you got such a little cup? I would have filled it right up. And people always said to me, we want bigger cups, we want bigger cups, we want... You yeah. don't really actually need them. Yeah. What that allows us to do is gives us space to stop people yeah. from tipping it. Yeah. That's what it allows us to do. Or if I was doing a three-tiered cake and it was all one colour, but you still yeah. only have a half fill it, can you see where the, it changes shape? Yeah. That's where you fill it to. Right. Okay? Oh, good. So now I've got blue in. I'm still going to point down because if I point up, I'm going to hit the top of this page yeah. and I'll do that for you. So if I come all the way back here, and look I don't know whether now you that you can so see easy. it, I've got blue speckles all the way up to there. So if I was to put another colour on, it comes out even yeah. more, you'll get more blue speckles, okay? So what we should be doing, this is the right way to do it, is point down. Yeah. I start two inches above where I want to be, yeah. like there, and then yeah. I walk down right. until it blends over the last colour that I put on. Right. So you walk down, basically, is how you get it done. And I'll remind me in a minute, folks, to, to explain why I've got the nice even colours. And we'll do it on this last one now. That's fantastic. Just there is a uh, royal blue we'll go with next. So again, I'm checking my colours. We're now on royal blue. That blue's gorgeous as well. I love them all. I can understand why you like I them. I love them all, but I, you can't have an umbra without so all bad. of them. Having never airbrushed, I've no idea what they look like. I use the gels all the time, you see. Yeah, and so the gels I use, are well, they're, they're the same version yeah, of. Yeah, I use the gels because in the buttercream and things like yeah. that, and then I use the dust, but I've yeah. never used the airbrush colour, so it's fantastic so to Carol, see So, Carol, were you paying attention? Yes. Where am I going to start? Uh, you're going to start at the top and walk down. I am going to start at the top and Crikey, walk down. did I get that right? Woohoo! <laughs> now then, the reason that I'm getting a nice, even colour is as follows. One, I'm a good distance away from the cake, so my spray is as wide as possible. It means I'm not going to scribble on the cake. And I am starting, don't tell Carol, off the project and off the project. Okay? You would be doing this on a board or wherever it is, so you're not necessarily getting it all around the kitchen. But actually, we'll see by the time I've finished how much mess I've made and Carol's going to be surprised. Actually, she must know I don't make a mess, otherwise she wouldn't have me back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to take it, can you see how I go to here before I turn around? If I turn around here, I'll get patches and that's yeah. not what you need. So it's a nice even colour look. Oh my goodness, that is so lovely. And literally just bring it down until you see a nice kind of blend between the yeah. two colours. You can walk it back up, look. Can you see I'm darker yeah, here than I am up here? Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Mm. Run out. I feel like having a go. <laughs> You'll be having a go in a bit. I feel like get having a go. you going in a bit. I'm going to get Daniel on first, though. Bless if him. a 14 year old can show me up, I'll have to have a go. I know. <laughs> well, Daniel entered a cake off with Scouts, didn't you, Daniel? And yeah. we did a um, bowl of popcorn that was pouring popcorn into the bowl. And we did a wood grain board and I had to video him doing it because nobody would have believed that you it was just it. Daniel that did it. Fantastic. So <laughs> we've then got my favourite blue, which is indigo. Daniel, did we bring in the pink wallet? No. Would you go and get it for me? Just go and get it. <laughs> Bless him. And we'll come back to that in a bit. Yeah. Because I want to do the indigo in a bit and I'll show you something really clever on that one. But that looks fantastic. But how easy is an ombre? It's, it's easy I never if, thought it was that easy. Dead easy. If you um, are able to basically get your colour blends right, so it's about going slightly above, working down, maybe working back up again as mm. well, that's fine. Starting off the project, returning direction off the project, and as far away as possible. And point down. Always, always, always pointing down, okay? Don't do these kind of things in a box. Do not airbrush in a box. The reason being is when you airbrush in a box, what happens is you've got your box and your cake is in it and you're trying to do one colour at the bottom. 
he's here already. Didn't even, <laughs> honestly, it's like lightning, this kid. Um, thanks, Daniel. Um, if you were brushing the box, the mist is going round, and anything that you wanted this colour, what happens is, is that mist will sit and then settle. I remember you saying that before. And it settles yeah. over the whole cake. Yeah. If you've got a three-tiered cake ombre to do, don't do all three tiers together because as you're doing the top tier, the corners of this tier and this tier will also get got, so you need to separate it. And if I'm doing, let's say, a five-tiered ombre cake and I need to get in seven colours, I will draw that on a very large piece of paper, either those IKEA rolls or get yourself the back of wrapping paper. How many of you have got Christmas wrapping paper in the loft mm. that you forget all about? So put it white side up, draw a big cake that's seven tiers high and have a practice. Spray your ombre on the paper and then you'll know how many colours per tier you need to use. Mm. And then you've not done it on the cake. Super. Oh, Super. Love it. Oh, we were gonna, Daniel was, uh, now he's brought that in for me. This is my magic bag. Yeah. <laughs> my life is in this bag. My complete life is in this bag. This is one of my favourite stencils. This is one of my stencil sets. Um, I think it's in the mermaid stencil set. Do you sell mermaid? Do you sell stencil set? Yeah, I do. Did you? Yeah, you told me that, did you? Uh -huh. so, oh. We'll be having them in. Um, <laughs> but they're really clever sets, actually. Um, they would be. Well, of course, because I've exactly. done them. Yeah, um, things like we're not here to sell my stuff. That's what we weren't here for. But seeing as you've asked, uh, they come with things like. Once you show everybody what you're doing, yeah, Dawn, they're I going know. to ask us if we've got it in stock. I know. So you best be getting that parcel on the way tomorrow. They're getting it on. <laughs> um, but they come with really clever things, like mermaid oh, stickers. Look at that. So if I put her on the cake before I airbrush the cake, yeah. when I peel her off after I've done my ocean, I'm left with a white mermaid, am I not? Yeah. Yeah. Which then it comes with the other side of her, so yeah. the outside of her, which then you put down, put her scales on so that you can just do her tail. Ah. Um, so yeah, kind of really little cool stuff. Hmm. You might not get out of here until you've done them. No. Well, I do <laughs> superheroes, mermaids, unicorns, and tropical. You, so might, not be getting, you might not be going home tonight. <laughs> Look at Laura's face. She's eyeing that up. She She's eyeing what? Who have you got that in mind for? No one's having an airbrush cake off me anytime soon. Anytime soon. <laughs> so this is the ripples off that set. Okay. And it wasn't necessarily to show you that. I just want to show off the other colour. And to show you what you can kind of do basically. So we were going to put indigo in, weren't we? That's what we were going to do. There we go. This is one of my favourite blues. So again, I'm just well, they're checking. They're all my favourite at the moment. They're great. Know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. So imagine that my turquoise is the bottom and my royal blue is the top. And that's my left and that's my right. That's where I'm going with this one. So you can see, can't you, that the stencil doesn't fit the whole way across. And it doesn't need to. This is a really great stencil if you're not sure what you're up to because it doesn't need to be precise. It doesn't need to have direct contact with the cake. You can just get on with it, move it, spray it, move it, spray it, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So again, I'm checking my colour. Can you see how I've got this border off the edge because I don't want it on there, but I'm going to have to watch this border just here. And I'm going to hold it in the corner and I'm very gently just going to spray. Oh, I like that. And I'll go again from this side. You see how I'm moving it as I'm doing it? Yeah. I'm not really kind of staying still, am I? No. But everything stays nice and gentle. Oh, I like that. This camera. It's all right. oh, that camera. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> She's in control. <laughs> that looks fabulous. Um, but how quick and easy was it? Yeah, absolutely. So actually, we can do this on the side of the cake, just the same as that we can actually do um, on a board. 
Um, it could be, couldn't it, that we've put that a water thing? That reminds me like a little water there. thing, like, yeah, like um, reflection of, your reflection yeah. of water. That's why it's called Ripples. Yeah. Right, yeah. Not the chocolate cabra, the galaxy version, it was just called Ripples. <laughs> um, because that's what it's meant to look like. But I used it that way. Yeah. That way, it's bark. Bark, yeah. Bark I actually thought it was useful. bark when you got it out, to be fair. What the blue didn't give it away no, though, no. I've used it before. <laughs> I, I know, I was wondering about the blue bar, but no, very good. Good. Um, but dead easy. And I've decided to leave the middle as if it were light, but you could yeah. of course put it all the way around. It doesn't yeah. matter at all. Absolutely. Um, you could that, get mad with different colours on that, oh, you? I think red, red, yellow and gold would look but really good. But to be good. fair, you know, if you did it in pinks and things, it yeah. would look a bit like animal printy. Yeah, you absolutely. know, it doesn't have to kind of look like water, it just depends yeah. on the colours that you kind of use with it. Yeah. Um, We've got people what? loving the stencils, so <laughs> oh no. Do you know I think that's gonna happen. Yeah. 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 Not allowed home. So are we all engrossed folks? Because I'm totally engrossed. Uh, she's only been in the kitchen twice. I've been on a cake class with her and I'm now paying attention. <laughs> that's all it's taken. That's all it's taken. I'm a slow learner at school. I was told to talk too much. I seem really? to have carried I seem to have carried that trait for my whole fifty seven years. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, I've watched you at various demos as well. I watch you all the time, I just love it. Bless you. I don't know why, because my head's full of cotton fluff. There's nothing <laughs> useful in my head at all, I tell you. Okay, so we've got an indigo blue in there. There's nowhere really we can go with that one. Um, unless we're going to go to black, um, which we could do to be fair. Um, just to show you how easy it is to do a solid colour. Do you want this one back? Um, so I put black in the airbrush, it's not going to take that long to come through, look it's there always oh, wow, straight that. away. Yeah. So let's look at then, um, it's alright I've attached one bit of kitchen paper and it won't sit still now because I'm blowing it. Okay, so basically let's look at then a whole colour all the way over. We're trying to, whether it's a cake or it's a board. Do you know what this is a good 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 that you're saying that because is it more popular now that people are not colouring the sugar paste now for a cake? Yeah, actually, loads. Yeah, they, don't, sure. they don't want food colouring in the cake, so they want as little colouring and additives as possible. Yeah. So whilst um, airbrush colours are additives, you're using a tiny, tiny, tiny amount because you're putting it on the surface of the cake. Yeah. Also, the effects that you can get with it are so much greater than you'll ever get with it's a not, sugar paste for me. And the other thing is, you're not doing all that kneading trying to blend in colour no, or paying no. a bit more money for a <coughs> coloured paste. And even if I use... Sorry, all coloured paste retail wholesalers. <laughs> if I use a coloured paste, I still enhance it with an airbrush colour though. Yeah. All the time I do that. Okay, so if I go close with an airbrush, I'm going to get a fine line. Okay? Yeah. And it's a fine line that we could write with. Oh. That we could write with. That one there, that's me chucking it out the top. So yeah. you have got lids for a reason. <laughs> and usually I say that's to people. That's what happens people, when you're cocky. I know it does. What <laughs> I usually say to people is don't create a tsunami. Well, by me moving it, I was creating a tsunami. So if I go a bit yeah. slower, look, yeah. then we're all right. Yeah. Okay? What am I going to do with that? Nothing. There's nothing I can do to rescue that no. other than blot it off. But great news is we're going for a black cake. So yeah. It doesn't really matter. If I needed to wash that off, clear alcohol is the way to go with that. Yeah. So a little bit of clear alcohol, wet either your kitchen paper or um, a cotton bud and just wipe over until it's clear. If you've done that ombre and I've done it in the middle of that, that is a strategically placed fish. Yeah. <laughs> because I can't wash it off. No. I can't wash that no. little section no, off can't. and re airbrush it. No. All black, I absolutely can do. Yeah. No problem at all because we're going on solid colour. So we're all right. And it's a reason that I can write on this first because we're going to cover it over. Yeah. So remember then, if I'm going nice and close, it goes nice and fine. If you look at how fine I can actually get, look. Wow. Yeah? yeah? So nice and fine. If I come further away, I'm going you to get could, a wide you spray look. You could write with that then, yeah. couldn't you? Well, what have I just written? I know you've done. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Please excuse us. Carol's on the Facebook 30 second delay. She's just catching up. 
Bless her. It's been a long day. <laughs> That's a really can... good idea. <laughs> I know you can write, I so saw you do a big word, but you've got it that small, I think you can actually write a sentence. I could, but I can't spell. <laughs> so, I write love because you know how to spell it. I write happy birthday and put the miss like the I tea or writing something. writing at first. Do you mean it's really realised it was love? <laughs> Oh, it's one of them nice. I thought you was writing. There you are, love. Oh, oh, thank you. Is that all right? <laughs> I could try and spell happy birthday. But I don't... Yeah. I don't know. And I'm stopping and starting, look, on the project. Yeah. Because I've got muscle memory, my fingers know where I'm at. Muscle memory? Yeah. We all have muscle memory, don't we, to remind ourselves of how to hold chopsticks, a pen, yeah. a pencil, yeah. a paintbrush. I know how far to pull back that trigger, and I know right. that it's just a millimetre. Right. Um, just literally just a millimetre. So, should we go back to doing wide <laughs> yeah. colour? So, wide spray look yeah. is basically going to give me that nice, even colour. And when I was talking about on off the project, that's as far as I'm going look. Yeah. So, I'm starting either side. If I return on the project, that's what happens. Mm. Yeah. And can you see I'm going too close? Yeah. Get so, I'm splodges. also making it look like, you know, yeah. I was going to say Daniel's drawing it, but Daniel's actually quite good. Yeah. <laughs> so, we won't. And we'll see if we can get rid of all these marks that I've already put on. Yeah. Now, people always say to me, how long should I um, wait for my airbrushing to dry? Um, you should be airbrushing dry. We should be able to, other than the water that we've just literally put on over there, yeah. we should be able to dry. This is one of the exceptions. I could be building it quite slowly. I ain't got all day. And I don't know about you, but you really want to watch me build this to black. It's going to be a little bit boring. So I'm kind of just going for it. However, you can still really muck that up. This will be wet to the touch. So if I touch this now in the corner, look. Yeah. yeah, so it's wet to the touch. I'm not concerned about it because it will dry, but let me muck up the middle for you just to show you how badly you could do it. If I go close look yeah. and go for it, can you see it starts to bead? Yeah. I don't know whether I you can, can see, see it. it from here. I don't know whether the camera can see it. It, it looks like an oil the... slick. Yes, is what it looks say. like. It looks like an oil slick. The camera might not pick up on it's that. It's kind of picking it up because of the light actually. Because of the light on it. Yeah. 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 So you're going to get an oil slick is in the middle. the camera picking it up as purple? It is almost, yeah. It's the yeah. light that it's picking it up. Yeah. yeah. So they can't really see black, can they? Light. Well, no, they could, but the light is just... There we go, yeah. it's just adjusted now. Yeah. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, our camera's we not... went very, very... Yeah. Bright. So guys, because of the lights in the kitchen, believe me, this is jet black, you'll be able to see it when she lifts it up. But because of the lights in the kitchen, the reflections are making yeah. it look purple. I mean, don't forget, black is never made from black. It's not no. a genuine colour. So some blacks will have a blue yeah. coat to them, some ha blacks have a, a green, and some have a purple. So this mm. one's got a purple base to it. But what I do love about this black is that when you come down in the morning having airbrush to cake, it will still be black the yeah. next day. It won't have turned that funny magpie colour. Right. Um, so my board is now jet black, but I can say... A big old line in the middle where it's like well, really kind of like oil slick. Mm. So we'll see how long that takes. Can to you dry. see it back on there? Yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. not what you'd want, ideally. If you do that and keep going at oh, that level, you know what? I can see can it. You there, see yeah. it only when you tilt it. There's like it, a yeah, stripe in the yeah. middle of yeah, too yeah. much colour. If I did the whole cake like that, it can actually separate. It can look and appear like a crackle glaze. Right. And what happens is it just starts to spread because it's got nowhere else to go. Yeah. You've actually given it too much weight. You've given it as much water as that almost in yeah. liquid. It can't go anywhere. So mm. ideally you need to be building it. But black and red, maybe a navy blue, are the only occasions where so I when, haven't got all day. So when you say building it, that would be putting one colour on, going round once, leaving it, what, for half an hour? Well, you so? wouldn't need to leave it. If we're going nice oh. and gentle and it's that grey, yeah. we wouldn't need to leave it because right. it kind of would be dry. But we're just putting a tiny amount on. Oh. Nice and slow, right? Yeah, and we'd probably put three coats on and then leave it. Yeah. Have a cup of tea and come back. Yeah. I can't be bothered. And I never get my cups of tea here. So no. I've been here all day and not had a cup of tea yet. And I've just realised we haven't offered you a brew. Did we not offer a brew? Oh, God. No. Well, honestly, Very the well. amount. <laughs> it was literally in film on. Well, it was. I know. To be fair. It's poor Daniel that's just wasting it. <laughs> you know, teenagers, bless them. Anyway, um, solid colour. 
Okay, so really, really kind of achievable. Um, I think we did, I did loads of writing first, but after that we did two cups of colour on there. Um, I can usually turn a six inch round white cake from white to jet black in a couple of cups of colour, basically. So you're not using a lot. And when I say cups, they're only ever half full, don't forget. Okay, um, so full colour there. The fingers are now an absolute state look already. Mm -hmm. So we've gone to black. So shall we wash out our airbrush? So top tips. So, here are you loving come. this, everybody? What do you think? Have we, have we got any newbies, Laura? Yeah, we've got a few new people tonight. And um, we really appreciate oh, you when you introduce like yourself. Like I say, it's a really friendly um, Facebook Live. It always is. We've got great people who watch regularly. Um, and it, like I say, if you've got any questions, we will try and get through them. But tonight is more about just running through the basics and running through as much as we physically can with Dawn. Whilst they've pinned me down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if we don't get to your question, like Dawn said before, Dawn herself will be jumping on Facebook tomorrow when she's got home. We will also go through any questions as well that we've not got round to. And just give us a call, drop us an email, drop us a message. We will help you out as much as we can if we don't cover it tonight. So, I am just putting water in this. You can use um, a cleaning solution and you can use clear alcohol. Cleaning solution you've paid for, what's the point in wasting it on just cleaning through your airbrush? Use that once at the end of the day. Or a clear alcohol is fine. If you don't want to waste gin or vodka, <laughs> vodka shots every time. It's a great new party. <laughs> Two parties at my house. Can you see that? I'd be getting an airbrush. I didn't get that because I don't drink alcohol. I didn't get oh, that for a second. You no, know, it's funny I because I always make these jokes about drinking. Daniel, how much do I drink alcohol? To show me up there. None. None. Yeah. None. Well, I drink Baileys, don't I? Yeah. I have Baileys and a coffee every now and again. Yeah. Um, I don't drink a drop. It took, it took me a drink. minute to think what you were what doing. You doing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. She's got a lovely black tongue now. I bet I am. <laughs> I wasn't pulling back the trigger. <laughs> okay, so cleaning my airbrush was just rinsing through. If you want to really make sure that you've cleaned it well, then what we're going to do is block the end of the airbrush with um, a piece of kitchen paper. That also helps me block the end, the colour that's coming out at the end, because that will be full of colour. Right. So that just kind of helps me block that off and I do that quite regularly. I'll show you why in a moment. But if I now pull back the trigger, what am I getting? Full of bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah. So what it's doing is flushing out the system in here and it's forcing that colour back up into the cup and diluting it. Yeah. And then it lets it go. Ah. Up into the cup, diluting it and then it lets it go. Oh, we're learning it all here, Laura. <laughs> apparently, apparently I know what I'm doing. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I'm making it all up as I go along. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. So, blow some bubbles, basically. Okay? And then, once my bubbles are clear, my airbrush is clean. That's basically the rules. Now, blotting this end. I was talking to you about blotting this end. If your airbrush starts to spit on you, and maybe it'll do it tonight, um, there's two reasons for that. Well, actually, there's three. One is, you've filled it too full and it can't cope. It's like a child that's got a mouthful of water yeah. and it can't cope with it. Yeah. So it spits it out to get yeah. rid of some of it. That's a good description, Dawn. Do you yeah. want to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> now freeze frame. Do you know the videos that they put up of me, either on YouTube or whatever, I'm like, ah. Or doing some stupid You do face. pull some funny faces though, don't you? It's because <laughs> It's because I have an ugly face. There's no, no point, no, there is. There's no point smiling and being nice because it ain't gonna happen. I might as well be stupid is where I go with that. Anyway, so if I, we were going with why, why it spits. That was two reasons, yes? So one reason was that um, it's, it's got too much colour in it. Yeah. And the other reason is you've got a blockage in it. And actually the hole inside of here, if I unscrew this, get nice and close for it. Come here, come here. Not in my shot. Not in my <laughs> shop, you're not. not in my shop. They fight yeah. over camera space these two. I want you, I'm just turn the other show. I want you to take a look at where my little finger is. Can you see the Can needle? You, see that? you might have to come sit. Yeah. You might have to show Maria closer. Right. Can okay. you get in close? And then I'm going to pull back the trigger, watch the needle disappear. Can you see it? Oh, maybe not. You've got it. That's how small that hole is. Now, where would you like me? This Can you one, see that? please. Right under there. Up here. Oh, 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 this now I've zoomed and oh, you zoomed. moved it. Right, go on, right, let's see. Hang on, hang on. Yep, okay? Stop! 
So on top bit, of my bit. nail, yeah. yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Now watch the needle disappear. Yeah. Did you see it go uh, in? Yeah. And back out. Oh, look at that. Cracker, that's tiny. In. Yeah. Right. So. Wow. Loads of people say to me, Dawn, can I put luster dust through an airbrush? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> can I put gel colours through an airbrush? Good luck with that too. Yes, you can, absolutely you can, and lots of people have success with it because they know how to strip an airbrush and how to clean an airbrush. But that is as big as a gnat's backside, isn't it? Yeah. There is nothing. Not that I've ever looked at a gnat's backside. <laughs> Are we over nine yet? <laughs> I'm not quite. I'm not so sure. Not you quite. should have, can we just put a warning up at the beginning? I think we should. Dawn's we should. on. <laughs> Dawn's on, she's going to be rude. We're going to do the after eight show. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Um, but basically, it's a tiny, 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 tiny hole. So if you can imagine, luster dust and alcohol, when you mix them together, do they ever stay as fluid as they start out with? Or does the alcohol evaporate, leave it with just powder? So instantly, everything's evaporating in there, and it, it just can't get through, so you end up getting a blockage. That will then cause your average to spit. Put anything through there. Some colours are thicker, aren't they, than others? That isn't an issue if you can let them down. So let them down. Go for the, that you know is kind of nice and fluid and you, you're good to go basically. And the third reason that it spits is that the colour will gather in here. Imagine, if you will, a drain pipe. What happens to a drain pipe is, is that it gathers all the water, but then when the water droplet gets too heavy, it drips, doesn't it? Yeah. But this isn't just going to drip because you've got a great big force of air going out with it. So yeah. therefore it goes, yeah. and it goes all over your cake. Yeah. So, when I'm airbrushing, I have a piece of paper in my spare hand and I would constantly, I do a little bit of spraying and I stop and I blot and it just becomes a natural thing. And what I'm doing is trying to take off this excess water. Yeah. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's water-based colour, it will happen with that. If it's an ethanol colour, what happens is you get powder collecting in here because all of your colours evaporated and then the powder blows and it does exactly the same thing. Yeah. doesn't matter what brand of airbrush you've got or what brand of colour you've got. That's what happens at the end of the airbrush. And we know now about the thickness of colours and what it is you're trying to put through there. It is uber, 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 uber tiny. So, so tiny. When we talk about needle size, whilst we're at it, I know we're not airbrushing boards anymore, but whilst I think about it, this airbrush comes with a 0.3 needle and that's about the size of that needle, but it also matches the size of that hole, yeah, that that needle sits in. And that little cone that that needle sits in is called the sheath. So the sheath and the needle have to match. That makes sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when we're not airbrushing, we're blocking that. I'm going to work. I don't know whether we've gone past nine o'clock, but here we go. Not quite. Right. Here's our hole. Here's our needle. Laura's giggling already beyond the screen. <laughs> and it's basically in there. That's what's happening. So when I pull back the trigger, basically some colour's coming out. The more I pull back the trigger, the larger that hole gets, the more colour comes Are out. We definitely open eye, Laura. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. There's only these two in here. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> My young innocent son's going, what are you talking about? Don't know what are you talking about? But basically, when I pull back the trigger, that's what's happening. The minute I let go of the trigger, that's back in there and stopping the colour from coming out. So these two have to match. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And needle size 0, 0.0, tiniest. Tiny, tiny, tiny. 0. 0.5, biggest. So larger sheath. Larger needle, yeah? And the two work together. So we're on, on this one, a 0.3. If you've got the hot pink spare pen, 0.4. So I haven't just, people think I've designed this just because it's pink. It's actually got nothing to do with the colour of it. I'm dyslexic and I work very much that my colours remind me of certain things and I attach uh, colours two things in order that I can remember them. Glad you told me that because that's all I thought it was. Another pen. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with that. So, what it means is to the ordinary Joe Blogs, it's another pen. And basically means that anybody that's got a single action compressor can use this if they want an airbrush with a nice large cup and it's lidded and it's pink. Ooh la la, isn't that lovely? But actually, it's a little more sophisticated than that. Why design another pen with the same size needle? when I can actually bring you another pen that does a slightly different job. So if you have a thicker colour, or maybe even a cocoa butter, you might want to go with an 0.4. And that has a large cup on it because it's a larger needle, it's going to be doing bigger jobs, isn't it? What you need to watch out for, and Carol will be the first person to get them, is the next airbrush that comes out will be purple. <laughs> and it will have a different size cup <laughs> and a different size needle. Best learn how to use this one. I know. <laughs> After that, 
there will then be another colour that has a different job and a different cup size and then another colour. Are so these the different, pens? You could, different pens? Not machines, just different Not pens. Not machines, just different pens. Wow. So you're building a your regular. accessories to do different jobs. So Ooh. if you know you've got that four tier wedding cake to do and it's all going in vibrant purple, you're going to get out the big bad boy and you're just going to go for it. And I haven't decided what colour that is yet. Um, I'm so dying to feel, do one now. Feel free to start suggesting your favourite colours of what you'd yeah. like for different things. Teal. But it's, I know, teal will be, so purple's next, followed yeah. by teal, yeah. and then we've got other colours. I think that pink, we can purple, and do. teal. Yes. And then as well maybe a rose kind of gold. Ooh. Ooh. Rose gold. Ooh. Right, there's a special edition rose gold. Yeah. Like that. that would have to be a special edition. I reckon so. I do have 24 karat gold one. Yeah. That my manufacturers gave me. Did they? Yeah, it gave oh, me for my nice. birthday. I know, very that's nice. Lovely, isn't so it? now can you see why then that becomes more useful? Right. Because actually, any of those airbrush pens I can use for any purpose, unless I'm yeah. going for a 0, 0.0 needle. If I was trying to do a four tier cake with it, I'd be there all day. But most of them, ordinarily, you won't necessarily notice that there's any difference. Um, but to the trained eye, um, they do a lot more for us. And also it becomes more relevant the bigger the scale gets, okay? Um, so it's a kind of watch the space one with that, really. Mm, as I'm to excited. What's to them. You see? Excited, excited. We like new goodies, don't yeah. we, guys? And it wasn't just... They, wasn't they all, just they all do you all like new goodies. Are you all... Mm. All right, I know. Yeah. About that. Thumbs up about that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and it's not a whole new system every time. I'm not trying to make you spend an absolute fortune. I'm trying to just bring in these little accessories. I'm glad you just mentioned about spending money. By the way, <laughs> by the way, if there's anything you'd like to buy tonight, please go over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So it's www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Look at me, I'm that engrossed. That's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> you do get support. <laughs> and, I, and then also, her. don't forget to go to the wish list. So. Everything that Dawn is using today is in the wish list. So how to get to the wish list is go to our website, okay, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And then it has the shop, it has brands, celebrations, other bits and stuff like info. But right at the end, it says Facebook tutorials, I think it says, doesn't it, Maria? Can I... Facebook Live. Facebook Live, yep. Yeah. Go into there, go into this month, drop down into Dawn's, click on the hers and everything, her airbrushes, her pens, all the fractal colours will be in there. Everything she uses will be in there. And uh, you can buy all of us. And then we're just going to negotiate a deal on the stencil. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, it's actually something kind of worth pointing out, actually, is that there is no one else other than me that sells the airbrushes. Yeah. Just um, the two of us. Only Carol. Yeah. Um, because I love her that much. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't get And we love else. our dinky doodle. I know. Bless her cotton socks. <laughs> She's been very, very supportive. And, of course, don't forget... It was Carol that told me about Fractal Colours, um, which you can only get exclusively through us as yeah. well in the UK. Yeah. Um, but it was Carol that pointed me onto these. Um, so without her, I wouldn't have a set of colours to work with and they're wonderful. So it is the reason um, that she gets, bless her, exclusivity. Otherwise, I'd have just sold it direct. But oh. she twisted my arm and wouldn't let me. <laughs> yeah. No, she's been absolutely... We didn't thrilled. open the electric gates. No. <laughs> when we got her up here. No, she took the dogs on me. <laughs> okay. Now then, this board you'll already see is probably half done. Yeah. Um, and it was only really to just sort of get started. Um, today, we'll just make sure that everything was up and running. And we've got some stripes going on here. Some of them are a little bit hazy. Come on, come on in and have a look and I'll show you what... What went right and what went wrong? Down a bit. You see? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we've got nice, straight, sharp stripes just here, but we've got some fuzzy bits going on over here. Yeah. Okay? And that was literally just where the um, colour went underneath the masking tape. I've brought the most unstickiest masking tape in the planet. <laughs> um, some of it's really great and others of it is not so good. So don't buy 20 rolls of masking tape, buy one roll of masking tape. Remember where you bought it from. If you like it, go back and buy 20. Yeah. Um, I've done that with masking tape as well. Sometimes it sticks. I know, and, it, and it, sometimes it, it doesn't. It drives you mad, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The day you really need it to stick is that roll <laughs> know, exactly. that doesn't it's, stick. It's the day it doesn't stick. Yeah. You've got it. Um, but you can use it quite safely on a cake, okay? It is not going to leave any residue behind, basically, at all. It's good. So, anybody that watched me do the premiere with you guys will have mm -hmm. seen me do this. It's a little bit like florist tape. It needs a bit of kind of heating up and stretching to make it stick. Um, but we did a gingham board there, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. So lots of you will remember when Dawn launched her Dinky Doodle last year. She came up and made the most amazing popcorn cake. 
and you did a book cover and burger. food burger. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it was great. It's All of it, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, you did. I don't know. I think that's and plus the website kept crashing because everybody went and crazy. And went nuts. Absolutely went crazy. We couldn't sell them fast enough. But and we I, still can't, if I'm honest. So thanks, guys. Yeah. And we couldn't even load up the website to put more stock on. Because I, no, I bought a certain amount of stock off Dawn and we sold out within seconds. And people like, people just, they were putting it in the shopping basket and it was sold by the time they got to check out. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it was. Blessed. Was you here yeah. then when Dawn was here? Yeah, I think it was, it was mental. mental. It was, it was a mental. nightmare. Mm -hmm. And it honestly <laughs> hasn't... A nice nightmare to have. But it yeah. hasn't stopped. It really hasn't stopped. No. A massive, massive thanks because July was when we launched yes. it, wasn't it? It was. Um, so we're kind of obviously in the, over the sort of six months and, and building on it even further. Um, and it's just not stopped. You all love it. And I'm so, so appreciative. I don't know whether it's the fact that you love the little notes that I put in your parcels. Um, I love... Did you put the... little notes in? Yeah. Don't be telling them that. They'll be expecting oh, them on no. a bus. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, we do put little freebies in. Yeah, yeah, we do. yeah you see. Now, you'll notice that this isn't very stripy. This is pretty solid. And what I wanted to show you was that you put one down and then you peel. You'd put three down, basically, in a row. And then you peel out the middle. That's a good idea. Put that back here, next to, like so. Then the next one goes down, like so. And then you peel the middle one back out again. And it means that we know that they're the right distance apart and they're nice and straight, mm -hmm. basically. Very so all clever. those people that are cutting out stripes with the sugar paste. Yeah. Yes, Laura, I take it we've got plenty of hearts for this. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like, I know. It's like an instant light bulb moment. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. It really That's is. That's exactly how it is, it isn't is. it? It's, it's like, like why? I've not yes. been why? doing this. <laughs> why am I taking hours trying to get a straight line? I know. I'd be there painting little red squares. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring out with your ruler, little marks. We've well, all been there and done it. cakes aren't as big now, but can you imagine oh, this done in wow. the different greens yeah. and all the rest yeah. of it? Dead easy to do a Minecraft cake, dead easy. Yeah. But this is a cake board, goes with so many different cakes. Anything that you've done that's um, what they kind of call an illusion cake mm. now. Uh, allusion to me used to be gravity to fine, but apparently yeah. not anymore. Can you see that I'm just giving it a good rub? I bet yeah. your bottom dollar it comes unstuck on us. And that's just about me having picked up the most ridiculous masking tape. I need to just lob them and say, don't use this one. Yeah. But anyway, so we're going to put red in the airbrush. Now we've had black in there, but we've cleaned it, haven't we? We yeah. hope. Yeah. But we're always, always going to check it. And yeah. there's our red. What we're going to do is we're not going to go left to right this time because if I go left to right, I've got a chance of lifting the paper up yeah. every time I go. So I've got to go vertically and I am pointing down at it. And you see how far away I am yeah. and I'm returning on and off that project. That'll do us. Yeah. Barely anything used there. Yeah. I'm amazed how far it goes. Mm. Oh, it does. Doesn't it? It does. A bottle of colour will last you a long, long time. Yeah. Long, long time. Now, I do this in a class. Um, I can't give all my secrets away for now. Um, I do this in a class where that's I do a tartan. So I do a tartan with it. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you can really, really easily, if I now put masking tape here, for instance, yeah. And then the next bit, I won't show you the whole thing, as in I haven't got enough tape, or I can't bother to get more out. But if I cover up that bit, but expose that bit, yeah. and then the next stripe would go here, look. Mm. So it leaves a little thin line across yeah. stuff in different colours. Great. But you see how easy it is then. So, you know, how many folks end up with cakes that need a tartan pattern on it? You mm. think, ugh, how am I going to do it? What about wedding cakes? Wedding cakes that need a pinstripe on it, for instance, where they get the stripes down. Put yourself a cake card that matches the size of the cake on the top, and then you can easily just go down the sides. It doesn't matter about the top. Ga uh, Matt Gaffer tape. Masking tape won't go around corners. Doesn't go around corners very well, basically. Um, if I were going to do that and need to use corners, then I actually use sugar paste as its own stencil. So I put down what it is that I need because that will flop over the top and mm -hmm. stay there and that works better. I've done a motorbike helmet as an example and it had this funny pattern all over it and of course I couldn't use sugar paste because it would then be stuck on 
an amount mm. of alcohol, it doesn't look like that, does it? Mm. It looks like it's airbrushed. But I used the sugar paste as a stencil, put it where I needed to put it, then airbrushed over, and then gently took it off with a craft knife and was left with my airbrush design. Didn't get rid of the sugar paste either. It's nice and clean, it's just a little bit funny coloured. Mm. So roll it into a ball, you might get funny hands for a bit, but roll it into a ball, leave it there, pop it in a bag, and then when you're airbrushing the next thing black, it doesn't really matter, does it, what colour it is mm. underneath? So use all of your waste sugar paste on boards. Does anybody ever eat them? No. Are they dirty? No. They're just not white sugar paste anymore, or they're sugar paste that you wouldn't want to use. So anything that's all mottled and funny colours, put it in a bag, save it up, use it for boards that you need to airbrush a darker colour. Simples. Mm. Simples. Love it. Okay, so that's another one done. Yeah, cracking. We're knocking these boards out tonight, aren't we? I know. Yeah. Right, I've got, got a massive here. pile of them. So <laughs> I have. I have. <laughs> I have, I have, I have. Um, so this one here is um, actually a craft, it's a craft cutout. It comes in packets and it's for scrap box, is what it's for. Um, a paper doily would be good then, wouldn't it? Paper mm. doily. Mm. Uh, edible lace. Edible yeah. lace makes a great stencil. So what I would do with an edible lace, let's say if it was a snowflake design, I would Put the edible lace down on top of a piece of rolled out sugar paper, uh, sugar paste, and then I would airbrush over it in like a frostedy blue, so that I've changed the colour of my edible lace. But then when I lift that up, I've now got the reverse pattern, yeah. and I then cut out cupcake topper circles with it. Yeah. Put the lace on one, the um, alternative option on the other, and you've just doubled up how mm -hmm. far your edible lace went. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now this one's all nice and curly because it's been in my garage, look at that, look, um, but we'll deal with that. Uh, we could be putting, if I was going to airbrush the whole thing over, I could put things down to hold it down, that's no problem at all, but actually what we want to be doing is working on a little section at any one point, basically. Um, what colour are we going for, Cal? Show us some pinks and lilacs. I was going to say, yeah, shall we? Shall we, shall we? I feel as though the kitchen's been deprived if there's no pink in there. I know, no pink, <laughs> no lilacs. So, um, we're going here for firstly the pastel rose. Now we've got red in the airbrush, so we'll rinse that out. A little bit of water, I'm not going to go for a massive clean because it should come through pretty quickly. Give me a bit there. Come on, Melissa. What colour is the other one? Pink. Right, so I so have got, got a pastel rose. Have you not? You no. have. Have you brought it today? Of course I have. Good, right. We've got it now. <laughs> You've got it now. Now I'm just going to tape this to the table. If you were doing it around a cake, tape it to itself once you wrap it around the cake. Yeah. If it's not big enough, then tape it to paper and then wrap it around the cake and then tape it up, basically. It's not going to secure it so that we've got full contact. Nothing will do that. I'm really sorry, folks, but a cake is a cake and it ain't mm. perfect. Not even a dummy's perfect. Um, but there's no way will you ever get full contact. But what I want more about is that it's not going to move left and right. Yeah. Okay? So I can deal with anything else, basically. So we've got the pastel rose in. And remember what we were saying about when we go nice and close, that we're going to go nice and fine, aren't we? So I'm going to start. I've just noticed that the middle of this flower is not missing. So that's not going to, neither is that one. <laughs> it's not going to do me a very good pattern, but we're all right. I'm going to go really, really, really close. And I'm just drawing around the edges of this pattern. Like so. I'm going to go in the middle of that flower. So can you see, look, by going close, how fine my spray is and that if I push down just there you should be able to see I've not done mm. any of the petals have I mm. just done the middles off mm. yeah so if you want to practice this at home folks get yourself a piece of kitchen paper and see if I'm I'm distracted on kitchen stuff. paper yeah. Yeah. yeah I buy kitchen paper based on the pattern But actually, we should look, be able, I can colour that one in, and then I can colour this one in. 
And if I get further away, my spray will get wider so I can colour it in without scribbling. Mm -hmm. And if I get closer to, in fact, there's dots on this one, look. Mm -hmm. But you can do the detail, can't you? I would never have thought mm -hmm. that, would you? Yeah. Apparently so. Mm -hmm. Could you like this? But like the sun, don't know what I'm doing. Making it all up as a winging it. You could have us. Good at winging it. <laughs> um, but how much does a piece of kitchen paper cost us? Yeah? yeah. So if you want to have a practice at the aim that you think you're at, the distance that you think you're at, get yourself a piece of kitchen paper. Yeah. The other thing that you need to get is a cheap children's colouring book. Yeah. Because if you can work, stop yawning, it's not that late. <laughs> if you can work your way through the colouring book, then there's nothing that you can't achieve. What I want you to do is keep the page dry. If you keep the page dry, you're not pulling the trigger back too much and giving it too much welly. And if you can colour within the lines, then your hand-eye coordination for the distance and the width of spray that you're at is also spot on. Like I said, work your way through that and you'll be good to go. Mm. So we'll just do a few of these. You do not want to sit and watch me do these all night. Maria will want you to finish that more for her video. <laughs> Go on. Right here. <laughs> Otherwise, she only gets half a video. Well, if I was, um, yeah, <laughs> and here it is finished. So, we'll if all have to sit and watch you do this now. Doing the whole board in one colour, mm -hmm. then I could come a little further away. What I've still got to watch is that, can you see, look, how much yeah. move? Yeah. And that will happen. So, it's just. Take it a step at a time. But to be fair, how hard would this be if we were trying to hand paint the thing? Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see the effect underneath, can you? Yeah. So what's well, everybody thinking, Laura? Are they all loving it? Yeah. Bear in mind that I, I am literally making it up as I go along. We don't know what it's gonna look like. But the thing is there's so obviously so many patterns and things that you could achieve, you know, with different stencils and you're gonna you know, start things like seeing that. things in a yeah, different totally light. Different. Completely and utterly different yeah. light. I was thinking of those Susan Esper stencils that we had in. Ooh, they were done nice, yeah. They? That's, really good. That's like what we said about sweet stamps, though, isn't it? It's just a different person's opinion on yeah, the product. Absolutely. And a different way of using and how them. to use it, yeah. But there's so many things that are lying around that yeah. I would use. For instance, um, uh, Coca Cola lids, you know, the bottle tops, yeah. or a beer bottle top. When you put those down on a board and spray around them, they look like cogs. Ah. So there's all sorts of different things. You'll start to see it in a different way. Yeah. You could put wool on a board um, and just, you know, put it in a random kind of pattern and see mm. what happens when you spray over that. Yeah. In a minute, remind me, leaves. We'll do leaves in a minute. I'll have to get Laura to remind you. I can't remember anything these days. <laughs> Look if I can remember my name. Well, I certainly can't remember anything, it's honest with. I have to have alarms set for everything. I can't remember what it is that I'm doing. So do you see how gently, I don't know whether you can pick up, yeah, it's, how little yeah. I'm pulling back the trigger, but not once have I splodged in terms of the amount of spray that we've used, basically. Looks fantastic. Right, while Dawn's doing this, just let me tell you, if there's anything you want to buy tonight, it's all on the Sugar and Crumbs website which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, you can just put everything in the search button at the top if you want to search for things. If you want to search for a Dinky Doodle airbrush or um, the, for, the, for the colours, you want to be looking for Fractal. It's Flow Air and Shimmer, okay? Now, Dawn hasn't showed you any shimmers yet, but wait till she blows your brains with those colours. They're absolutely amazing. They are They're all indeed. suitable for a vegan, vegetarian diet and they're Halal certified. Um, they're absolutely fabulous colours and only Dawn and I stock them and sell them. The, at the same time, there's only Dawn and I who stock and sell the um, Dinky Doodle airbrush. In fact, you let Sweet Success have them as well, don't you? Or do they own them I, anymore? Sweet Success have them, but yeah. obviously not a lot of people order online from yeah. them. So that's if you're in Nottingham, that's kind of good. That's but they, they supply all my cakes, so they yeah. do look after me. They do. So yeah, absolutely, you're right, Karen. That's they more do. of a walk-in shop. No, I don't mind. We love Sweet Success. We quite like them very much. So um, we sell um, the airbrushes. With the airbrushes at the moment, you do get a free set of mini colours. So they're well if worth the investment. Them, if you buy them through Sugar and Crumbs, I haven't got any left. Yes, yeah, so if you buy them off Dawn, you don't. If you buy them off me, you do. 
Um, Which I know is the wrong way about it. <laughs> but she got more than me. <laughs> I will get some more, folks. I will get some more. And you get a handwritten note with me. <laughs> you get a free gift off us. <laughs> I need to know what the spend it, Spend is. over 20 quid, you get a free gift. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, pop over to our website. Everything is there. And if you want to look what's actually just been sold on the live tonight, pop along to Facebook Lives. It's at the top of the page there. Drop into this month's menu, drop into Dawn's actual own little product category, and everything that Dawn has shown you tonight will be in that category. The only thing that's not in there is the stencils, because we've got to negotiate and get those on. <laughs> and I am doing that fairly they, rapidly. They didn't know they existed, that's why. <laughs> and I'm doing them. I always have to laugh when I get a tutor in the kitchen. I always, because you talk to them weeks before and what they're doing. I've, and had, these they're for I've had them since I had the airbrush, but right. I never thought about it, because I just get them laser cut myself. And then on the night, they pull out a little wonder that surprises us all, and we need them in stock. So I spend my time here on the computer, putting them on. So I will have them on board. You can have them with pleasure. I never even, never even thought you'd want them. They're just something that I have, mainly for students after class, um, yeah. is what I started them with. And one of Daniel's friends, Tom, is also on the World Scout and Jamboree. Yeah. So he was trying to raise three and a half grand, happens to have a laser cutter at home yeah so he basically has been laser cutting all my stencils for me and i have funded his jamboree trip <laughs> as have you by buying them so thank so you so let me tell you as well dawn just mentioned the magic word class now we had a fantastic class a few weeks oh, ago we the did. dragon class absolutely we should have, amazing we should have brought the, um cake back yeah we should have actually so but it was absolutely we should have had carols out because <laughs> carols was bam <laughs> bam <laughs> Um, what we I should have all done. I don't know. Go on, sorry. I'm anyway, just... we had a fabulous class, and hopefully, we're going to get Dawn booked back in the kitchen again. She only gave me very short notice, but in oh, fairness, we had the class two weeks hang notice she gave me. I didn't give her any notice at all. She basically said, I love that dragon, I want it, you're coming. Yeah. That was what <laughs> happened. <laughs> Shall we be frank? Basically, Carol, I was at the Welsh Sugar Craft Pot Show and um, she had the be most beautiful dragon there. And um, I should have, we should have saved it really, shouldn't we? One for here. We should have. But um, should've. anyway, with I'll the most. pictures in the comments, yeah. Sarah. We had the most beautiful Welsh dragon. Uh, it wasn't Welsh dragon, a beautiful red dragon. And I said, oh, you must come and do that as a class. And uh, when she came and did the live last time, she said, well, why don't I stay and do the class the next day? And I went, okay then. And it was. We basically booked it all, fully booked, and we were in two weeks. it filled. Yeah. It filled, so it filled. Great. What people really liked about that was I was taking things back to basics. Yeah. And it was about carving again. It was about what what should we actually do with cake. There was no structure in it. It was yeah. about being commercially viable. Um, and I'm doing loads and loads of classes like that. So keep your eye on the show. I think that, page I think that was back. the thing, to be fair, because when I spoke to everybody in the class, that's what they wanted to know how to carve the cake, yeah. how to put it together. There was together. no Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah. It was all really useful stuff. Yeah. There are some amazing cakes out there, but they're what I call kind of competition worthy. Yeah. You might want to do them for a competition cake, but nobody's ever going to order it, and you yeah. can't afford to ever make it for an order. No. Um, so this was about, should we actually make some money out of cake? And they all got to choose what colour dragons are, mm. with the fractal shimmer colours. Goodness me, was there some amazing coloured dragons. Mm. It was really, really fab. I'm sure you all know what colour mine was. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put pictures of it. We'll post, we need to post pictures. So, anyhow, anyway, missed it. Anyhow, so we are going to book a date with Dawn back in the kitchen again for another class later on in the year. Give you all a little bit more time. And maybe, if possible, we'll try and do a two day class if she's up for it. Absolutely. Well, so I can come and it. certainly do airbrushing one day and then another thing the other day rather than yeah. a a full two days or two, yeah. two different classes yeah um but my airbrushing classes sell out really really quickly that's so those that are on the website i've only got day i've only got um available in london that's it at the moment everything else is sold out so we need to get something a bit yeah. further up north super 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 so all i'm doing look is going round and round the garden like a teddy bear she's got to finish this for maria's video because we have to see the end product, don't we, Maria? Thank you. Because so. <laughs> <laughs> Maria it drives Maria mad that she we get tutors in the kitchen, and um, 
not everything gets completed. We show you, you know, they show you parts, how to do things. And then Maria has to make videos afterwards and she never has the actually end, has the end product, not all the time, anyhow. So. Or sometimes it's a different color because it's, we have to, she has to show the one that was done earlier. Yeah, and it's not quite the same. <laughs> yeah. No, it isn't. Right, well, I've been not paying attention, nattering away, don't actually know whether, and I've never used this piece of cardboard, but that's all right. Yay, look at oh, that. That's lovely. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? And do you know what that looks like? Those fashionable tiles, tiles that are back yes. in now, aren't they? Yeah. <gasps> Imagine Indoors. that in a lovely yeah. blue. Oh, my, oh. Son, my son has something like that in black and grey. That's oh, how you know, nice. I actually marked this before you did it it would look like tiles mm. yeah and then if you put some edible glaze over the top yeah it absolutely nice. would yeah very good that's so yeah it. that's a, well, well, actually got take a long that what did that take about 10 minutes not even that no, I don't think exactly. that really not even that really right um whilst should we, should we change your pink kitchen should we change your kitchen paper on yes if you like i can finish it's clearly <laughs> disturbing <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> in fact, I'll let you, you're going to jump in. Just while you're doing that, just in case anyone has missed the beginning or can't stay for the full um, Facebook Live this evening, it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page once we've finished tonight. Well done, um, and then it'll also go on to YouTube as well in the next day or so. Then you can watch it back at any point. So if there's just one particular part of the tutorial that you wanted to see, whether it be the stripes, whether it be the water effect, you can then just rewind and fast forward on YouTube and on Facebook rather than having to watch the whole thing all over again. You're good, you aren't you? I try. You get it all out without making a stutter. I <laughs> stutter and blubber everywhere. She does it every week. Every week she manages to get it all out at speed. Me, I'm going blub, 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 blub. She's a professional. <laughs> and what am I? Well, <laughs> you're Carol. <laughs> and we love you just the way you are. But she does, she amazes me every time. She, I sort of sit there and look at her and think, oh, I wish yeah, I could speak like that. I've got some scissors somewhere, but I can't find them. Have we got any scissors? Yes, we have. Yeah. Draw down there. Three is away. She's on the way. I knew you'd have some somewhere. <laughs> We've got more than one pair. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at I've this. I've got a bit of a nifty <laughs> trick. <laughs> Thank you. Up my sleeve. Um, how many of you at home have got these? Go and give us a thumbs up. Ooh, yay, nifty nozzles. <laughs> Would you like to know what else you can do? I hope um, it's not too rude. No, no, it's not <laughs> paragraph <laughs> nine. Right, we're in pink, but... If I basically place this down on here and I'm going to put my airbrush inside it and go round in a little circle, I need to be close enough inside that I'm not going to go around the no. outside, but actually it will put a little bit of a pattern. Yay. Do you know what would be nice? Have you got the rose one? I was just looking actually. The rose one would look like that. Like. rose? That one. That one. Yeah. Go, on go along with roses and we could paint little leaves on, couldn't we? What do you think I asked for me scissors for? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just stealing a thunder now, Carol. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, she's been watching me for five minutes. I think she knows it all along the I'm that overwhelmed, is it? I'm that excited about or, you using nifty nozzles. Would you have ever considered no. No. that a piping tip could have been used for something? What's great about the nifty nozzles is they're flat, yeah. so they'll sit. Yeah. And I'm not, can you see, we're not really, really wet inside there. Can I put that yeah. one there? Is that better? Yes. I'm not really wet in there because I'm going nice and gentle. So I could flood it, and if I flooded it, I'd make an absolute dog's breakfast of it because it would all start dripping down the side. But it's nice and gentle, not back too far. Whilst we're at it, I think that one looks like yeah. um, alloy. Yeah, yes. it does. Yeah. That's on it. So what was that, the tulip? Yeah, six petal uh, tulip. Was it? Yeah. I think that looks like an alloy wheel. Yeah, no, I have to agree with you. That's why I said get the rose out. Yeah, but how useful is that? Yeah. So if you put that on a blackboard with silver mm. over the top, that'd be yeah. really rather cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. What's the other one I've got then? 
another tulip. Oh, that yeah. one. Should we have a look at? Will that be any different? Oh, uh, that that maybe is. It is another tulip. That one, but it should look a bit different. I like that one. The way the shading comes. So we around. liked best. Yeah. That was the spring tulip. That the one. spring tulip, yeah. and then the rose we yeah. liked. Yeah, because it's got a different edge to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I like that. Well, that one's very similar to that. Yes, it is. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's get rid of this. I'm just thinking about ways you could do that, painting it on the side of the cake and little painted leaves on. Do a little flick, couldn't you? You could do See all what? sorts, kind of little bits of background, but yeah. then add one kind of yeah. 3D. All sorts of stuff. So I'm going to make my own little template, little stencil. Mm -hmm. Just going to fold it in half because generally when you fold stuff in half, you get a better shape. And what I'm going for is that leaf shape. Oh, we want yeah. to be rounder at the bottom. So I started here at this angle. If I start here at this angle and then come round, I should get a better leaf. There oh, we yeah. are. Okay. Uh -huh. So we'll put some green in. There's two greens, there's leaf green and a holly green. And I'm gonna go with the... Is it Holly or Ivy? Ivy. <laughs> she knows the titles because she puts them on the website. She can't them, can't I? I no, you're right. <laughs> I just don't want them looking for Holly and then I have to no. explain it's Ivy. I know, you have to explain that Dawn's a Wally. She doesn't know what she means. I'm just going to add some yellow to this. Oh, that's I want interesting. To put lighter. You're putting two colours together. Two colours together so you can mix. But what happens is, is one sinks to the bottom and the next one goes through. So they don't really kind of mix until... I'm going to stand back for this because my project is there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to block the end again. And if right. I blow bubbles, what's it going to do? Oh, mix together. Mix it all up. Oh, you are a clever one. Not a chance. Oh, there we are. That. That's oh, what I I'm like after. That. That's Ooh. what I'm after. So if I put this down, now then, the most important thing you can probably ever learn, other than everything else I've already told you this evening, um, is when you're stenciling and you want something to look nice and real, we're not going to full colour it in. What we're going to do is very gently go round the edge and kind of leave a little bit in the middle. Oh, okay. look at that. And if I put another one here. So I'm not going nuts, basically. No. And I'm going to try not to go over the pink either. Like so. Yeah, I get Put another like one it. in here. But this is just a piece of paper. It's nothing expensive, it's nothing complicated. And I can keep this stencil for ages. I don't yeah. need to throw it away. If you go too mad with your airbrush, you will saturate stuff. Mm. If I now just empty a bit of it only because I don't want all of it but I'm going to add ivy green <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blow my bubbles make sure I've got the colour there mm -hmm. it is oh, oh. Get about a bit. and go back line up the stencil and now I'm going to go really close and just go at the edges you see oh, how it just brings it to makes life. makes it sharper, that, wow. doesn't, it? doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. And it's about that little shading and making it not look like it's been touched by human hands. That's what you're Ooh. after, basically. If I do another one here. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if I then... Have you stretched it, yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Should I stretch it back? <laughs> Where's wow. the little cutouts that I had? Oh, that looks so good. That, that makes it's amazing. amazing how that sharp this amazing. is, isn't it? This is the original leaf. Yeah. Yeah. And I could use another bit of paper. My worry is with another bit of paper that I'll make it too big.
I've just cut a little V out of the middle. Because you could put that down there. If you were so inclined. Oh, look at that. It's just about using the right bit of the right stencil, basically. I'm not letting it blow around. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to stay out of her way. <laughs> I'm just ending up making more of a mess. So I know I've not got around the edges of this one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Little middles. Yeah. And we'll put the outer edge on that one as well. People are very impressed with this. Again, it's just yeah, another it. different idea, isn't it? So simple and effective. Well, just to though. show you that I've what got to be honest, possible. Lord Dawn, I love this line tonight. You know why? Because it is just, show you, just yeah. showing you how to use yeah. it. But, and stuff that you can do. Yeah. yeah. You've all got a board and some sugar paste yeah. at home and some lifting nozzles and a bit of paper. Yeah. Yeah? Um, you know, there's nothing here that is going to cost you a great amount of money when you've already invested in an airbrush. That yeah. I know half of you are going, oh, I'm too scared. Mm, yeah. I don't know how to do it. No, I don't know what to do. Yeah. We've got um, a lot of people saying that tonight as well, yeah. that they now can't wait just to have a play. And I, I think know. that's it. It's just to give yeah. people that bit of confidence. Yeah. Well, what, what is it to have airbrushed up a piece of cake card? If you've got edible imaging sheets in, or even just plain paper, yeah. Because you should be practicing at being nice and um, gentle, um, then you should be keeping paper dry anyway, so you can do it all on paper. That because looks so look, pretty. We should be able to yeah. airbrush and sort of get yes. rid of it straight away. Look at that, that's so pretty. So whilst we've got green in the airbrush, you see how it all flows nicely? Yeah. <laughs> <That's too lovely. laughs> um, yeah, it is something, honestly, I was just kind of being silly, but actually, how much does it kind yeah, of Yeah, because you could put a few more of those flowers mm -hmm. there, make a nice little bundle with like, if you'd done them like with some yellows and oranges, yes. just the other nozzles. Yes. That could have made a nice yeah. side of yeah, a cake. Yeah. It's got me thinking. Yeah. So what are you thinking? I know. Well, that's I know. the thing. It's Shall we have a play after? Eh? While Dawn trots off down the road, we'll have a play. Maybe not tonight. <laughs> no. Oh, shucks. Another day. I'll leave it set up then for yes. tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we've got green in the airbrush. Um, and I've now got a leaf. This is a silk leaf. You could use real leaves, no problem, but do remember that if you're trying to store them, they will go brittle over time. So they won't work for too long. Um, but a good fresh leaf is really good. And of course, obviously, things that are in season um, also utterly good. And... Your blood is getting out drinks now. We've been here three hours. <laughs> Bottle of wine, Carol. <laughs> tea. Told you I don't actually drink either. No more drinks in here. Just me and Daniel. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is, just like that stencil that we were doing, I'm concentrating on spraying around the edges. So I'm using my leaf as my stencil, and that's what I'm going to airbrush, so that I end up just going around the edge like so. Mm. Wow. And then if I lift and move it again, This could be rose petals, mm. it could be those um, bottle tops that we spoke about. Quite often some of my mistakes happen from having stuff lying around here mm. and then you find them with your airbrush yeah. by accident um, and it becomes something That's that you kind of use idea. in a project. Ooh, I like it, don't you? So yeah, rose petals work brilliantly for this. And if I now empty out, we were in quite a dark green anyway. Yeah. We could kind of go to browns. But actually, if we go for an orange. She says, have I got the reds already? Oh, yellow's already out. Look, I've got loads of different colours in here. So yellow in. I'm not bothered now what kind of colour it ends up. Look, we've got a light green there, look, mm. because it's, you know, got that kind of colour in it. So we can go over with a couple of them. That's nice. Mm. I like it, I like it. If you've got a silk one like I've got, don't forget it could get a little wet. So you might want to just stab it down look like this. And just make sure 
that it's not causing you too many bother. Like so. Then we could add a little bit of the red and we should get an orange, shouldn't we? But I'm going for a drop. And what I love about these bottles is that I can literally do this, look. One drop. Mm. That's all I need, one drop. I'm gonna blow my bubbles. There's my orange. And of course you could go summer tones if you were doing, you could match the wedding colors if you're doing the roses. You could go really autumnal on this, depending on what it is you wanna do. Don't forget to block down. I like that, don't you? Mm. That looks lovely, really doesn't it? Yeah. But it's not hard, is it? No, not at all. All I'm doing is spraying and moving and it mm. wouldn't really matter if I didn't kind of get it right. Mm. Now we'll always get, it looks like leaves, but it's always the outer edge of the leaf because mm -hmm. I'm putting the leaf down. If I put that on a piece of paper and cut it out, some of you have got those cry cut things where you've, you can physically yeah. cut it, then I can have both sets of the leaf. So I could put the hole allowing the inside, like I've just mm. done those leaves, and I could be doing the inside of the leaves instead. Just depends on which part of the leaf you've got as to which image you're gonna get. I put red in now. So we're getting a really kind of, this is quite an orangey red anyway, it's quite a, a bright and vibrant so it'll give me a bit more of a deeper orange and then I'll go with some claret I think. People often say to me well what do the colours look like? Um, Fractal's one of the only companies I know of that's managed to really photograph their products so well yes. that you can the picture you see is the picture yeah. you're gonna get. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I didn't know it was gonna be that color. Yeah. Um, it really is like it should be. And that's claret. Claret's one of my favorites. Claret in the pearlized. Oh, absolutely love it in the shimmer. The shimmer colors are beautiful. Yeah, aren't they? I'll show you in a bit. Leave it not done. This has been so uh, exciting. This session, we're one and a half hours in. Can you no believe way. it? Yeah. Well, I've got one more left to show you. Absolutely. And then I'm by. Some I'm, I'm only worried because I know you've got so much to show us, but I'm just thinking, oh my goodness. So Laura just gave me the nudge there. I've just chucked. I've just chucked colour on it, but just that's where your cake could be going. See. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. We'll stick a leaf on that one. <laughs> Again, I can't get rid. So everybody, what are you thinking so far? Are you loving it? Are you getting those airbrushes out if you've already got them? Don't be scared. It's the whole reason why I've got Dawn back here tonight to stop you being scared. So make sure you get them out, make sure you get them used. And if you haven't got one, buy one. You get the free mini set with it. And um, anyhow, get one bought, you'll love it. <laughs> Browning this one and then we'll move on to our last board of the evening. Where did that time go? I know, it's blown. I, know, I can't sorry. believe it. Sorry if you're all bored. We've covered no, so not much bored at all. No, no, I'm just, honestly, I could be here all week and not show you two things mm. twice, honestly. So we've got brown in now. This is the chocolate brown instead of the brown. So we do two different browns. The reason that there is two is that they are quite different. The chocolate brown, as you can see, really is, you know, a chocolate brown. Mm -hmm. Whereas the brown is more of a tan. Right. Um, obviously both very useful and you can lighten and darken both. Mm. So it, it doesn't really the effect kind of matter ball, don't you? which that you kind of get. But again, how easy was it? And mm. can you actually? It's just there, that little mistake. Barely even see that. You can't, you can't no, no. see that. Looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, dead easy again. Mm, it actually looks things. like that water effect colour, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. Yes, where doesn't people it? are doing yeah. this kind of watercolour yeah. stuff. Um, but it's about being gentle, folks. Less is more. Yeah. Less is more, less is more, less is more. Yeah, I noticed that. You only did it very lightly right. over. Always, always yeah. only very lightly all over. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. It wouldn't be me if I didn't show you how to wood grain a board. <laughs> if I didn't show you wood grain, There'd be all hell to pay. There'd be strikes going on. There'd be all sorts. So, Carol, mm -hmm. get up here. Oh, Carol. Oh, sure, get up here. Ah, ah. Can Daniel go first? <laughs> Come on, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Ring. 
thumbs up for the handsome one. If you see me every week, you don't need to see me. For the handsome one? Oh. Come on, Daniel. He didn't get looks from his father, I can tell you that. No, we love you, Paul. Okay, so. Probably everybody's seen me do wood grain, um, but it's one of those things that I keep getting asked to do over and over again. But I thought we'd up it a gear and we'll do some parquet floor. Uh -huh. um, so this is my template for a parquet floor. If back in 2012, I did uh, Entered Cake International for the first time and I got placed in my category and I did a parquet floor. And what I've done basically was yes, the wood grain, but I've marked out this piece of paper first. So my board was exactly this size. And what I've done is fold it in half diagonally and then fold it in half diagonally to find my centre point. From that... <laughs> from Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> from that centre point that's here, I then got a block of cake card that I cut to a rectangle. And I put it here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and drew around them all until I got my pattern. Then... Thank you, Daniel. Then I can basically place that pattern on and mark it down. Now I don't use a Dresden tool or a ball tool or a scribe, I use a ruler. And I actually just put a ruler in on the marks because it gets it nice and straight, lift it and then re-ruler it just to make sure that I am where I need to be, basically. We've got chocolate brown in the airbrush, so we'll go with the grooves first. Don't go anywhere, Daniel. <laughs> so again, we're nice and close, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, we're gonna get a nice fine line and we should be able to just mark down here. By the way, Carol, mm -hmm. this is an exclusive I've never ever shown Have you not? anybody. Wow, love this. How I do my parquet floor. Oh. Maria, get all this on video. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show the world now. <laughs> she hasn't had my bill yet. <laughs> So, parquet floor, the grooves in between would always be darker, wouldn't they? Yeah. And we could do that afterwards, but seeing as I've got that darker brown in there, then we'll kind of go with it. Okay? We could just lighten it up a touch. So I'm getting rid of most of that brown, and I'm just adding some yellow in. We'll blow some bubbles. Check my colour. That's a better brown. Yeah. Okay? And I'm just going to go over the whole kind of lot. Just to build in that background, basically. I can now add a touch more brown again. But I just wanted to put that in beforehand. Right, Daniel, do you remember how to do wood grain? Almost. Almost. <laughs> so. We're going to do some paper tearing. We're so pleased you're here, Daniel. <laughs> I know. This is hilarious. Me, I'm not getting up there. Because it would have to be Laura. <laughs> I tear paper all the time for wood grain, and everybody can't do it. They say, I can't tear paper like you tear paper. Um, so I always joke with them and say, well, you'll be pleased to know that the paper tearing class starts this evening, <laughs> and it's just £75. Can I tell you how many people have had to try and book on it? No way. <laughs> I'm just joking, folks. But we're going to tear a V, and it's what we call a Goldilocks V, because it's not too fat and it's not too skinny, okay? Daniel, we are just going to concentrate on one piece of wood grain, okay? Yep. So this bit is an example, Yeah. okay? I'll do this one first, and you do the next one. So I'm going to hold it down, I'm going to go quite close and gentle with the trigger, and I'm going to go up one side, and then I'm going to go down the other, and I'm going to lift it. Mm. Then I'm going to go back in, up one side, oh. down the other, and there. It's so clever. Okay. <laughs> if I want to, I can add some more wood grain here, but what I'm going to do is stop before yeah. I get to that yeah. next yeah. panel. Oh, you're under pressure now, Daniel. Okay, so, <laughs> have a go at this bit of paper first. Hold it in your left hand. Oh, right hand isn't he so here. good? Yeah. 14 years of age, guys. Come on. Okay. You're going to love this, Bella. Just have a go on here first. So hold on to this like this. That's it. Windy beak. He's saving and Carol from doing it. Do it. Point down for me. That's it. And I want you to start here to just gauge where you're at, pulling back the trigger. That's brilliant. Now walk up the side for me. Bit more on the trigger. Bit more on the trigger. That's perfect. So go down the other side again for me. Come further away. Good luck. Now lift it and put it down the side. Right hand side, right hand side. And again, walk up for me, walk down for me, and up. Walk up. 
bother. Wow. Well done. <laughs> Seriously, he's done it once and that was about two years ago. We are putting this kid under a lot of pressure. <laughs> so this is perfect <laughs> though. It's only got 300 people... women looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay, perfect for people who haven't done it before. Yeah, walk up. up, walk down and come away and move. Well done. Walk up, walk down and away and move. Well done. Okay. That's it. Super. I don't know whether you know the chance to get cocky in here. Look! Wow! I know! I know! Well, as a mate, there's no need to be finished school now, you just carry on. Yeah. Carry on with me, you're fine. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Very well. Bless him. You can get back drinking your drink now. I know. Thank I you, know. Daniel. You saved me and Laura. So we could have changed the direction that we were doing the um, panels in. Of course, this one, look, if I turn this way, yeah. we're going to go in a different direction. And we could change the shape of our wood. So we don't always need to keep this same V. Once this gets saturated, it's paper. So, you know, start again. Do another yeah. thing, basically. Um, Carol, is there anything else? We need to clean the airbrush set before we start. Well, we're going to show some shiny stuff. You want to show some shiny stuff? We'll yeah. of course show some shiny stuff. Uh, even if you can just spray some of the colours on oh, the board, absolutely. Get a board just so that they can We've see the colours. Loads of boards. Yes, I know. <laughs> loads of boards. But if we could just, um, even if we could just sort of yeah. spray the colours so they can actually see them live would be great. How much time have we got, Laura? Um, it, we're, we're on 1.40, so, so 20 minutes. Yeah, five oh, minutes right. of doing showing some colours. Okie dokie. But that's what we do with our parquet floor. So we can then kind of bring it up if you want, add a bit more yeah. colour, a bit more shade. You do know you have to finish that from I will own. finish it for <laughs> you. Yeah. I will. Look, I'm going to leave that in there. Yeah. And we'll show you with a different pen. We'll crack on with a different pen. But let's turn that off. Brilliant, well done. Isn't it amazing, everyone? Uh, loads of love hearts, loads of light. Absolutely Thank love it. Guys. Very proud of you. Thank you. Ooh, Thank we're going to all have some fancy boards, aren't we, guys? Aren't hey? you just? Aren't you, aren't you, aren't you? Now then, did you think I was just going to leave this as black? Yes. <laughs> well, I did, actually, yeah. <laughs> did you? Might not be dry yet, because we really went for it. But... Um, one of my favourite sets of colours um, is the Shell Nacra colours. So these are iridescent colours. I want you to think of fairy wings. I'm glad you're showing them up. because they are beautiful, aren't they? They are beautiful. But they have to go on top of a dark colour. No, they don't. No. But, no, you just won't see them in the same way right. on white. And that's what people kind of go, oh. Yeah, because I've only used the dust. And ah. I put them on white, and but they look... They look like a fairy wing or mother of pearl on white. Yes. Yeah. But when you put them on, on a dark colour, yeah. they turn into oh, something amazing. Yeah. They do. They really, really kind of go for it. So, we've got, there's four in the set. There's blue, there's green, there's violet, and gold. there is gold. Yeah. See, she knows her stuff. <laughs> there we go. So we'll start with the blue. Always give them a bit of a shake. What I also love about these bottles is, is that they twist. You can't lose the top, which is fab. They just twist and then again, they drop and they squeeze. Now the bottle is stiff. It's not the color that's the problem. The bottle is stiff. So try, should I do that again so you can get it? Um, trying to get the colors out. You can't have it in one hand and you're holding your average pen in the other. Doesn't happen. Okay, if I put this on paper, we're really so excited. Look at her. Do you like that? She's in this. If I move this <laughs> in the light, can you see it? And I'll do it under this camera as well. Can you see that? Just, just about. about. Yeah? Yeah. I want you about. to imagine all of that um, Disney, cold. Yeah? Yeah. Are we on, are we on yeah. with that? Yeah? All those kind of things we're looking at. Snowflakes and all the rest of it. However the minute that you put it on black becomes a whole different ball game. So remember how I said that the most important thing you can do is spray the stencil on the project? That's what we're gonna do here. So if I put this down and I go from 12 o'clock around to eight o'clock and lift off, you won't see this yet until I kind of lift it up. And I'm gonna do the same again here. I'm gonna go from 12 around to eight. 
And then I'll do the same down here. <laughs> All I'm doing is 12 to 8, okay? It is a little bit wet still, but we'll now go with some green. Can you see it? You, you, you will do in a minute. Right, but Just patience, together. woman. Right. Okay, everyone. Patience, patience. 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 The magic is about to happen. So I'm just spraying through now until my green shows up. There we go. I'm going to do the same with this one. Ooh, can see that one. Can you? And then... We'll do the violet. A little bit of a shake. So little colour that you need. I'm spraying through till I get my violet. I can see it, you lot can't. There we are. She's got some Oreo cookies. It's fab with Oreo cookies, these colours. Are they? Mm. What, spraying straight onto the cookie? Yeah. Or spray it no, just spraying onto the straight cookie. onto the cookie. Right. I don't know whether you remember, but you can spray all sorts of things with these. So you can spray chocolate, you can spray buttercream, you can spray meringues, you can spray macarons, apples, apples, bananas, bananas, yeah, yeah. Well, all sorts of skin, straight onto the skin. <laughs> all sorts of things. Yeah, you need to just take the waxy surface off, so just give it a bit of a wipe. Yeah. And then you kind of get to go. Um, then the gold. You will do in a minute. So you can't wait, me. I'm excited. No, I'm like, excited. Like, like, what's going on? The, no, but people are saying ideas already just because of the shape. So, like bubbles, a mm -hmm. space theme, exactly. you know, things like that, polka dots. Exactly. Now then. Just because it is still, you know, we really soaked it, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so I could do with something just to flick it off with instead of sticking my fingers in it. There we are. And we could have, sorry, am I tricking that bit of sunscreen? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. It's the gold. <laughs> I'm going to put the pearl on here. You could put the silver on. So silver's fine, but also pearl, when it goes on to black, becomes silver. So really, really versatile colour is the pearl. And again, spray somewhere else until we've got it. Still going gold. Come on, there you are. And then we'll take the end of the airbrush off. Both ends, not one end. <laughs> if I can get there, we are. Bit changed sound, and we can't. Uh, uh, we can now put our little star. Oh, wow. You can see it all coming together now. Yeah. Time, yeah. The colours. Do you know that's amazing because as soon as you put that gold and silver on, it's like the colours just popped. I know, everything then everything kind of then came just, to life. It really did. So if I start moving that around. Um, look at that. Let me yeah. see if I can zoom out. Just bring it down a bit towards you. <laughs> Away from us, basically. I am doing. Sorry. <laughs> just... Yeah, just to your camera. That's it, thank you. <laughs> wow. wow. That is amazing. Now you can see it all, yeah. But now you can kind of see yeah. it all. Yeah, it uh, works incredible. even better when that black is dry, but we did yeah. kind of give it a good going over. Um, but they're absolutely Isn't stunning. Yeah, the colour didn't come out all at first. Yeah. 
I you know. can't see it. You yeah. just can't see it from the angle that you're at. Really difficult to photograph. Yeah. But actually, and I know it's fabulous. Yeah, and I don't waste the blue on top of blue, but I would put it on red because it becomes ultraviolet purple. Yeah. Um. So it depends on the wow. color that you kind of want. You know what kind of goes with. Um. But dead quickly, whilst we've got that aquas out, we'll go. This is one of my faves. Fave, 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 fave color is the Kingfisher. I absolutely love this colour. If I give this a shade, they do loads of different two-tone colours. Um, and I honestly swear, I have no idea how they do it. They don't know how they do it. Or they do, but they don't tell me. <laughs> um, but that Kingfisher, just take a look at that. Mm. So take, is that mm. in shot? Yeah. Mm. Yeah? The... Uh, Again, so dawn. I haven't used them, but I love every single colour. Honestly, yeah. They're all beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you remember the, the other Facebook Live we did where we did the rice paper bow mm. and still had a mix mm, and the yeah. vibrant colours. Yeah. I was surprised that morpho blue, you must have yeah. gone out of stock in a few yeah. seconds. This is gold and turquoise. Can you see yeah. it's actually got gold yeah. and turquoise in yeah. at the Me same. Too. Oh, it's just stunning. Um, so we'll go back over that stencil. Just waiting for it to come through. Look, the golds are there. It is. So yeah, these colours I've been spraying macarons with them, chocolates with oh, them. Oh, yeah, macarons are nice. Yeah, they? they look gorgeous in these yeah. kind of pearlised colours. Straight onto buttercream. Mm. Um, oh, you spray straight onto buttercream. Yeah, straight onto buttercream. When, when it's crusted, I presume. Yeah, when it's crusted. Yeah. But if it's an uncrusted buttercream, does it really matter? Yeah. Um, but yeah, just absolutely stunning. Let's give you a whiteboard so that you can see just how perlite and gorgeous mm. I am. Like so. There we go, another stencil. No, I don't sell this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first ever baby stencil. This is, I love this stencil. I may have to bring it back though because I really loves it so much. Wow, that colour's beautiful. So that's what it's done, isn't it? Mm. So that's the Kingfisher. Look at that. Now I've kind of so that that's a really good tip actually. Yeah. Um, I was just coming away too far, and I've basically put a border on my stencil. So if you don't want that, you remember how I was going really tiny and close mm. when we were doing the other pattern? That's really what I need to be doing with this stencil. But we're just kind of going for it just to show you the colour. But loads of people would just end up putting a box, putting a box around their stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, I'll just show you this uh, golden turquoise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Board now. We've, we've just people saying don't forget about the water when you did at the beginning. We oh, won't yes. forget. No, we won't, we won't, we won't. I'd forgot. <laughs> don't worry, our trusted viewers haven't. <laughs> well done, Laura. <laughs> okay, so here's the golden turquoise. This is what I want to show you about. I mean, there's different ways of colours with this. I just want to show you what I mean about the fact that there are two kind of colours going on. And again, I'm spraying too high, so I'm getting a border in there. Yeah. But it's at, they're absolutely stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning colours. I've got a nice red and orange there. I have. I'm looking for it. Golden Sunset is what I'm looking for. It is one of my faves. I keep looking at them all. They sell for fun. They sell really yeah. fast. Oh yeah. 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 This is probably one of my favourites. So what I did, the um, original Dragon in, wasn't it? Yeah. That you saw. Um, but how this works, I have no idea. Because it literally sprays red and gold at the same time. Mm. And I know I'm going too high. I'm not bothered about that. It's just kind of getting that colour out. Colours, mm. isn't it? Yeah. That's what it looks. And you'll use such little amount of colours in this um, yeah. that it's not true. Really, really small amount. But if you take a look yeah. at the fact that there's those two yeah. colours in there, yeah. um, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. The silver purples. This is another one of my favourites. Mm. This is sage green. There is crikey firefly green, mm. golden green. I tell you who was who really loved these colours as well. Marion Frost. Yeah. She saw them at the show and then she was so pleased that I was stocking them because she's How gorgeous is that? I know it's beautiful. Isn't it? How gorgeous is that? Yeah. Mm. I do um car classes, remote control car classes. 
Yeah. And Daniel, every time, asks me to do a Lamborghini, don't you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> and we do it in that. that one. Yeah. And yeah. then I put that golden sunset across the wow. bottom of the cake as yeah. an ombre. It's absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, yeah, really, but so really, many people really love these colours, so I'm glad we're both stocking them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't, I can't keep up with you lot yeah. on them, so I don't know. Goodness knows what Carol's yeah. like. Okay, so let's take apart the airbrush and clean it. Okay. Yeah. So we right. basically got our cleaning station. That's all fine. Any so chance we can have a clean piece of paper for Marissa film on? Yes. So. See, that's what you want. It's yeah. got nothing to do with you, has yeah. it? It's got to do with nice if when she does her video. Get all these bits out of the way, darling. Some of those bits. So we're going to show you how to clean the cleaning station, but so no, that we're, we're not going to show you how to clean the cleaning cleaning station. station, how to clean your pen. How to clean the airbrush. <laughs> so um, we're just going to put down some nice clean paper so that when Maria is uh, doing a one minute video for you, so because this is going to be a reference video, so that um, when she does it, at least it all looks nice and clean. My fingers won't. No. But, that, yeah, don't lose that. Okay, so basically the first thing that you'd be doing is you'd have colour in your cup. So you'd probably get rid of that into your cleaning station. And you'd go through with a bit of water and literally just rinse that through like we've done before. You would then basically take a piece of spare kitchen paper and I'm going to blow bubbles. So I'm going to block the end of my airbrush, pull back the trigger make a bit of a mess but blow some bubbles and what that's doing is is rinsing out whatever's in here up into here and flushing it through diluting it and then we're going to get rid the theory is that when your bubbles are clear your airbrush is clean and that you're good to go so I'm just going to also give it a bit of a wipe inside the cup because that helps us out and then I could leave that at the end of the day however should you ever have trouble, you really, really need to know how to take apart your airbrush. So, you always have a piece of kitchen paper down and that's clear and clean. And what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna take off these two sets of notch lines here. And it really will show us how tiny and small the airbrush hole is. If you can see the needle here, when I pull back, there it goes. And there, look, it's it's back again. It's so tiny. So that is so so yeah. tiny. This is the sheath that's protecting it, and that sheath always has to match the size of that needle, in order that when I let go of the trigger, there is no colour coming out. When I pull back the trigger, it's that then that allows the colour to come out. So first of all, we need to make sure that there's no blockages in there. And quite often, taking this end off and just giving that a bit of a wipe, making sure it goes in and out, is a good place to start. This. We can rinse now in the sink under the tap if we want, but please make sure that the plug is in the sink, otherwise you're going to lose it. And just a paintbrush in there will clean that out, no bother at all. So, I'm now going to unscrew where the two pieces of metal join each other, like so. And I'm going to place that next piece at one o'clock, look. So I'm working in a clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, the next piece at two, three, and so on. And hopefully, I can put it back together in order. Now, if I move the trigger backwards and forwards, I want you to watch this end. Can you see it moves? So it's going backwards and forwards, look, mm -hmm. this bit here. Well, that's the other end of this needle. This is the end of the needle. It's nothing with a hole in it. It's just a piece of metal with a sharpened point. And I'm going to unscrew what we call the cone-shaped nut, and out that comes. That then allows me to take out the needle. And when I just gently tease that out, you'll then see how fine a point it goes to. We can pop that down as well. You've basically now not got a lot going on inside there. We're going to unscrew this barrel here. And it's this barrel that controls this trigger and gives it its traction because what it's doing is acting like a jack in a box for that spring just there, okay? And then the spring is out and this piece on my new airbrush folks stays put. I used to have it separate and everybody used to lose that part. So I've had it attached in order that that doesn't happen. Should it happen, like it's going to play football, there's a foot and in it goes and back into place and it's done. 
You can now basically give all this a wipe, make sure that it's clean, not rusted over like mine. It gets just soaked in water and it shouldn't really leave it in soak. But there's no issue with it. Toothbrush over there and we're fine. If you need to lubricate anything, I would thoroughly recommend that you use olive oil because it's a food product, mm. so we know that it's food safe and we're not putting anything that's a cleaning material that shouldn't be near food. This barrel, don't forget, is the bit that now squeezes that spring so it keeps the traction on our trigger. And then we would give our needle a good wipe down, make sure that it's all clean and very gently put this back in place. Now I use my finger as a guide so that I don't go stabbing about blindly like trying to thread a needle. Back in that goes, on goes our lock nut. Make sure that that's still behaving, it's going backwards and forwards. End of the airbrush goes on, and now the front, and it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Done. Very good. Very good, well done. Lots of people don't realise how little there is going on on the inside of the airbrush. They say to me, Dawn, I've broken my airbrush. You haven't broken your airbrush. It basically just needs a good clean. So if that needle's not going backwards and forwards, then it's just that something's kind of going on in there. Strip it, follow that video, and you'll be back up and running in no time. Guarantee it. Oh, we had a water board. Yeah. <laughs> water board. It, is, nearly the water board. <laughs> it is almost dry. It's still got a bit of water on there, but enough for me that I can kind of tip it. But it will look exactly like that when it's fully dry, but there'll be no water to it. Yeah. Um, so really quite clever. Amazing. amazing. It really is amazing, that fact. Yeah. But dead, dead simple in Yeah, yeah. Dead, Absolutely. dead simple. Uh, well, can we just jump up? Hasn't she done in a minute? Got to get her out of here. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't our own little dinky doodle worked well there, eh? That is her pet name, her family pet name, and she's named her product after that as well. So Dawn in the kitchen, showing you loads of fabulous hints and tips. The boards are great there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boards there. Showing you everything you could possibly know. So please make sure you give her the thumbs up. We've Thanks, enjoyed the guys. company. We're going to talk about booking another class yes. for later on in the year. That's a definite because yes. the last one was so much fun. Okay. And if there's anything you want, nip over to www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, you can look in the search bar for airbrush. You can go down shop by brand, Dinky Doodle, Fractile Colours. You can, um, do you know what? You can find everything on there. Yeah. But most of all, go to the Facebook Live, drop down to Dawn section and everything will be in there. For those of you who have not managed to see the whole session, as Laura already said before, um, you can either watch it tonight if you want to stay up long enough <laughs> or watch it, um, or it will be on YouTube tomorrow afternoon. Maria will have it on there and you can watch it and you can stop and start, replay, go back over things. But I hope you've enjoyed tonight and I hope that we're going to see loads of airbrushing work. I hope so, yes, please share your pictures and don't yeah. forget I should be on hand really shortly to answer all of those questions once I've got back home. Super. So thank you, Dawn, for being joining us Thanks again. Thank you, Daniel. Very brave. <laughs> You're very okay. And uh, thank you, Laura and Maria. And we will see you all on, what, next time we're here. Yeah. Take Maria. care. Cheerio. Bye.